double stop tuning. In the previous videos, we have studied single stop tuning circuit to match arbitrary load to uh, transmission line of characteristic impedance Z node. We said that in single stop tuning, uh, we start from Z load and we move across the transmission line a distance D1 such that the input admittance would be Y0 plus JB for the case of shunt stop or the input impedance would be Z0 plus GX for series admittance. This occurs after a distance D1 from Z0. Then we are going to add shunt susceptance equal minus GB or a series reactance equals minus GX such that the input impedance or input admittance after uh, the susceptance or the reactance would be Z0 or Y0. In this case we can match arbitrary load to a transmission line of characteristic impedance Z0. Actually, the main disadvantage of single stop method is that the distance D is different from one load to another. Thus, this technique is actually suitable if we have a fixed load which should be matched for a specific frequency to a specific transmission line. The question now is that if we are planning to fabricate a general matching load or a general matching circuit, sorry, a general matching circuit, this general matching circuit, it cannot be tuned at specific distance D from Z load. So, instead of using single stop, we are going to use double stop. In this case, the matching circuit would be composed of a finite fixed distance of transmission line connected to two variable stops. And by connecting the load to the fixed transmission line section and varying the two stops, we can match the load. This is what is called double stop tuning. As we said, the single stop tuner is able to match any load impedance having a positive rail part to a transmission line. But it suffers from the disadvantage of requiring a variable length of line between load and the stop. According to the load, the length from the load to the stop would be different. Actually, this may not be a problem for a fixed matching set. Assuming that we have fixed load and we have fixed frequency or fixed operating frequency, we can design a fixed matching set. But this problem would be probably some both some difficulty if an adjustable tuner is required. In this case, double stop tuner, which uses two tuning stops at fixed positions. At fixed position, it means that the transmission line section between the two stops is fixed. It is not variable can be used. Such a tuners are often fabricated in coaxial transmission line with adjustable stops connected in chunk to the main coaxial line. 
In this case, the load may be an arbitrary distance from the first stop. So, regards what is the distance from the first stop. This is the general configuration for double stop tuning circuit. In this case, we have the load admittance Y load dash, which is connected at an arbitrary distance from the terminal of the tuning circuit. The tuning circuit is composed of a fixed transmission line section of distance D with two stops connected in shunt to this fixed transmission light section. The two stops are variable lengths. So, in this case, the value D is constant, but the value L1 and L2 are variable. The stops can be open or short circuit stops, depending on uh, the design of the tuner. But practically, it is more suitable to be short stop because short stop is actually can be obtained by introducing a conductor connector between the two terminals of the transmission line section and this conductor it can be moved inside or outside the stop so changing the length of the stop so the more suitable stop in this case is the short circuit stop. The other terminal of the tuning circuit is connected to the transmission line, which has the characteristic admittance Y node or characteristic impedance Z node. Actually, as we mentioned, this is the actual load Y load dash, which is connected to the tuning stop at an arbitrary distance t or arbitrary distance so the input admittance at the terminal of the stop is y root so actually we are going to match y load connected directly to the input terminal of the tuning stop of the input terminal of the tuning set. Okay. So this actually the general configuration for the double stop tuning set. Now, how we are going to analyze such double stop tuning set? Assuming that this distance d is an arbitrary distance and this distance d is less than lambda by 2 this means that we are going to move with y load in parallel to the susceptance of stop 1 which is gb1 so y load plus gb1 will be moved a distance d until we reach to this point then we will add jb2 at this point to introduce a matched load this means that the input admittance at this point it should be y naught plus or minus jb2 such that when we are going to add jb2 the input admittance would be y naught this means that the load admittance combined was with the first susceptance of the first stop after moving a distance d must lie on the circle which has a real part equals 1 and plus gb and from the value of gb we are going to design the second stop to subtract this GB such that the input normalized admittance it would be 1 or the normal or the admittance would be Y0.
this is actually what we are seeing here this is how to design the double stop tuning circuit with a distance d because we are going to move a distance d from the load to this point to obtain input admittance having a normalized real part equals 1 so in this case if we are going from this point to the load we should move to the reverse direction instead of moving toward the generator here we are going to move toward the load with a distance d such that we are starting from real bar equal 1 here to reach the value of y load to do this we should have to rotate the circle 1 plus gb 1 is the real value and gb is the imaginary value which is extended from 0 to infinity here and from 0 to minus infinity here so this is called the circle 1 plus gb we should transfer the circle 1 plus gb from its original place to a new place after a distance d towards the loop moving towards generator is going in this direction on the other hand moving towards the load is moving in this direction so if you are interested to find out the input admittance at this point normalized in admittance 1 plus jb we should rotate the circle 1 plus jb from this point towards the load the distance d so the first step in the design is to find out the distance d or the normalized distance d here d over lambda towards the load from this point to this point then after allocating the distance d on the smith chart we are going to draw a line from the center of the smith chart to the distance d along this line we are going to rotate to draw the rotated 1 plus gb circle 1 plus gb circle should have the same diameter of the original diameter of the original 1 plus gb circle so this is the rotated 1 plus gb circle so the first step is to allocate the distance t which is the fixed distance between the two stops we are going to allocate the distance d on the smith chart and from the location of the distance d on the smith chart we are going to draw the diameter of the rotated one plus gb step so this is the first step and this is the second step this is the second step after allocating the diameter of the rotated 1 plus gb circle we should draw the rotated 1 plus gb circle so this is step 3 step 3 is drawing the rotated 1 plus gb circle okay now we have prepared everything to design the double stop tuning circle we are going to allocate the normalized load admittance on the Smith chart. So the fourth step is to allocate the load admittance on the Smith chart. This point. This point has a real part which is along this circle and imaginary part which is along this arc. Okay? Now, this load admittance or normalized load admittance is connected 
to the first stop in Paris. So, the total admittance of the load admittance plus the stop of or the, uh, the susceptance of the first stop would be Y load plus JB1. Okay? We should design JB1 here such that Y load plus JB1 should intersect with the rotated circle 1 plus JB. We should design JB1 such that Y load plus JB1 would intersect with the rotated circle 1 plus G. Actually, in this case, we have two choices. Either to add a positive real susceptance, or, sorry, a positive susceptance, a positive GP, such that here, Y load towards G load plus G V load, we are going to add GB1, it would be Y load plus GB load plus GB1 here, this Y1. Or, we add negative susceptance minus GB1 dash, such that we are going to intersect with the point Y1 dash. Actually, this is a solution, and this is another solution. So, after the fourth step, which we have allocated the load admittance, we are going to determine the value of positive B1 or the value of negative B1 dash, which is required to make the total admittance at this point to intersect with the rotated 1 plus GB set. And actually, the intersection would be at either Y1 or Y1 dash, according to if we have it chosen positive GB or negative GB1 dash. Okay? Now, after determining the value of the susceptance of the stop, and we allocate the new admittance after adding the stop, which is actually the admittance of the load plus the susceptance of the stop. Now, we are going to move this distance D towards the generator. In this case, this means that we are going to rotate back this rotated 1 plus JB circle to the original 1 plus JB circle. So, in this case, this point, it will be rotated until to intersect with the original 1 plus JB set. Actually, this arc is a part of a circle whose radius is coming from the center of this message chart to the point Y1. And this arc is moving until we intersect with the original one plus GB set. The other solution, Y1 dash, will intersect with the, the original one plus GB circle at the point Y2 dash. So, as we have two solutions in the rotated one plus GB circle, we have corresponding two uh, solutions on the original one plus GB set. Let us go with Y1. Here we have added GB1 such that the total admittance is Y1. Then we are more a distance D along the transmission line. So we are going from Y1 to Y2 on the original one plus GB set. Now the input admittance at this point has a real part 1 
and imaginary part minus gb2 so if we add it plus gb2 it would be 1 and once the total admittance is 1 for unity so it means that we have reached to uh, matching the other solution if we add it minus gb1 dash such that the admittance at this point was y1 dash then we rotate it y1 dash to the original 1 plus gb circle it would be intersecting at y2 dash which is as a real part unity and imagine about plus gb2 so in this case gb2 dash in this case we are going to add or subtract or to add a uh, measure bar equal minus gb2 dash such that the total admittance it would be y so this is solution this is one solution y load to y1 y1 to y2 y2 to the origin and in this case we added b1 at the first stop and b2 at the second stop and both b1 and b2 in this case are positive the other solution is we start from y load to y1 dash in this case we have imagine, uh, negative imaginary b1 dash and then we rotate y1 dash to y2 dash and y2 dash here has real bar 1 and imaginary bar positive so we are going to add a negative imaginary bar minus gb2 dash to reach unit actually this is a main strategy for designing double stop tuning set uh, for special case which is the usual case in practice the distance d is uh, chosen to be around lambda over 8 in this case this line is actually normal to the real axis so the rotated uh, 1 plus gb circle will be normal to the original 1 plus gb circle this would be seen in the example uh, in the uh, next video before finishing this point it should be noted here that uh, the value of yl which can be matched by using this double stop tuning circuit cannot be any point inside this mess shop actually it should be located at any point outside the circle which is tangent this circuit which is tangent to the rotated one plus gb circle this circle is the original one plus gb circle this circle is the original one plus gb circle and this is the rotated 1 plus gb circle from the rotated 1 plus gb circle we are going to draw a circle here which is tangent to the rotated 1 plus gb circle if y load is allocated inside this tangent circle if y load is allocated inside this tangent circle we cannot tune this y load by using this double stop so this region is called the forbidden region or the region where we cannot match the loads which can be allocated inside this circle actually this one disadvantage of uh, the double joining circuit or the, tub, uh, the double tuning circuit which is not uh, appears in the case of single stop tuning circuit 
in single stop tuning circle there is no forbidden inversion but in double tuning circle uh, sorry in double tuning circuit we have a forbidden region and if y load is located inside the forbidden region we cannot match this uh, load okay all right in the next video we are going to present an example for double tuning circuit